back to the show, everyone. It's time for round two. Let's join the gang for the field games. Ryan, I'm speechless. What exactly are you supposed to be? Well, Wink, obviously I'm a starfish scientist. Duh. Anyways, according to some of my recent research, strange weather patterns like El Nino have caused sea creatures in this part of Canada to mutate into horrible monsters. Yeah. I bet you didn't think that weather could cause mutations, but uh, it can. Anyways, that's why we've hired today's three uh-oh contestants to help us with this little problem. Of course, uh, you know, we told them that they would just be helping collect trash off the beach. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what you think of a little game called... Anyways, what do you think of that, Don? Those mutant creatures are making me so crabby. Get it? <laughs> Anywho, you've got to get rid of them. Cover yourself in protective radioactive jelly. Then run over to the sand pile and look for five crabs. Dig them out and attach them to your utility belt. And then run over to see Sharky. Yikes! <laughs> them nuclear oysters there, they make me so scared, I want to pee my pants. If I had pants, that is. <laughs> Anyways, what you gotta do here is you gotta stomp through the seaweed ladders and squish out all the evil oysters before I eat you. <laughs> I mean, uh, thanks for your help. Now head to the next station. This is the best oyster stomping I've seen since 1989. Oh, celebrate your victory by having a delicious crab sandwich. Now, I am lazy, I am dirty, so you will have to turn yourself into the sandwich. So jump into this pool of butter, get out and roll around in this paper, stick on two pieces of bread, and you can go to the vintage visit alors. All right, let's meet our brave beach covers. I'm just floating out of the I'm gonna blow these guys away from the finish line. Dance moves, huh? All right, you see the teams. Now it's time to vote. If you choose right, 35 big points. And if you choose wrong, you know what happens. You get the big goose egg. Zero. That's the way it goes. It's the rules. I didn't make them up. And while you're voting, let's see what the, uh, the field game players are playing for, shall we? Field game winners turn their backyard into a sports arena with backyard games from Cooper. Get into the swing of things with badminton, volleyball, bocce, and pitch back for practicing your curve. Yours from Cooper. Runners up receive Air Hog. Pump up Air Hog's phaser and watch it soar to over 300 feet. With an onboard computer system and total directional control, Air Hog's RC intruder lets you master the skies. Air Hogs. Okay. The votes are in. Now, what did they choose? Well, blue chose orange, green also chose orange, but red to be different chose purple. Back to Ryan to see who's gonna win. Okay, on your mark, no, on your mark. Get set, go! And they're up. They're heading out. They're going to the very first day. They're gonna throw the bucket off to their head. They're pretty good at this. 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 They're pretty good They gotta find the lock. They gotta find the crabs. They gotta find the crabs. They gotta find the crabs. They're pretty good at this. They're crab belts. They're, they're belt crabs. They're brabs. We'll just...
a delicious looking crab sandwich, Orange, and an even better looking winner. Congratulations to you. Now, who did not choose Orange here? Red, you chose purple, you get zero points, but green and blue did. 35 points go to you guys. So, going into the final round, let's check out the standings, shall we? Up to the board, we see blue's got 85. Now, green extends the lead to 160, and red's got 50 points. Everyone's got points on the board, but who's gonna win? We'll find out in the third round right after this. Don't go away!